Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? I'm Go here, and today we will be reviewing Generation 1 Ultra Magnus. So let's head to the table and check them out. So, here we are, and there he is. Now, I am really, really happy to have him back in my collection. I had Ultra Magnus when I was a kid, and um, I got him for, I don't know if it was for my birthday or for Christmas. I think it was for Christmas. I think it was a Christmas present. But, um, yeah, that was, you know, that was, <laughs> seems like eons ago. But now I finally have him back in my collection. I got him off of eBay, complete with his box and everything. He's complete, totally complete. And, uh, you know, here's Magnus in his carrier mode. Very nice. Now, if you remember in my Optimus Prime review, I mentioned that, you know, since I didn't have the original Optimus Prime, I had Optimus by default because I had Ultra Magnus. And the reason is because I had this, which is if you remember what I called him. Here we have Albino Prime, <laughs> which is, you know, I mean, that's what he is. It's, it's, it's the same exact figure. It's just a repaint, a white repaint, which is basically what Ultra Magnus always was, was just a, right, a white repaint of uh, Optimus Prime. So yeah, this is what I had. This was my Optimus Prime, since I couldn't have the original. So, I took what I could get. And, um, you can hold Ultra Magnus's gun. It's, a, it's basically a reversible gun, you know, this this handle is for Ultra Magnus, and when you turn it upside down, this handle is for Albino Prime. So Albino Prime can have a gun, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, there's Albino Prime. So now we're going to turn Albino Prime into Ultra Magnus. So, this is a good on, you just basically want to take the trailer section here. I'm going to take the missile launchers off. I'm going to take the arms here. And uh, split them. Like so. Bring them back. And you want to take these and basically just kind of collapse them in. Like that. And like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Collapse it. Collapse it up. Now, down here, you want to take these panels, bring them in, like so, bring the legs up, they are going to tab in, see a tab right here, they'll tab right in there, lock in place, like so, and now, you want to take Albino Prime, take his gun out, take his fists out, he does, he's not going to need him anymore. And you basically just want to bring his arms back. Hold him back in. Like he's half transformed. Bring his toes down. And basically the two ports and the headlights. You know, plug in. Oh, first thing we want to do here. I want to take this little white connector. This was what was holding the cab to the trailer. You want to take this off. And you want to plug it in right here. It's going to make a little belt for Magnus. Okay, so now, these two posts now, they're now exposed. You can plug them in to the two headlights. Like so. And it'll go in there quite securely. They can bring the arms back and lock them into place. And I can take Ultra Magnus's big fists here. You can take them and plug them in. Plug them into his arms. Like so. And 
Then you can take the Ultra Magnus head. And this actually came in two different versions. There was a painted and an unpainted version. So there actually, there was a version that was all blue. It didn't have any of the silver detail. I made it a point when I went hunting for an Ultra Magnus, I wanted the, the painted version because it looks so much better. And just a plain, totally blue head. It just, it, it looked horrible. So, anyway, you just take this. And you just put it on top. The prime head there. Helmet style. And now you take... Ultra Magnus' gun, using this handle now, and you plug it in, and you take the two missile launchers, and you plug them into the ports on his shoulders, like so, and there you have it, there you have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. I mean, now looking at him, you could see that he's basically, I mean, he's, he, he's a brick. You know, he, he's a brick with arms and a head. I mean, there's no shape to him whatsoever. But, um, still very cool. He, you know, he has no articulation. Obviously, no, no leg articulation. His legs don't do anything. The arms just, you know, you get this. That, that's all you get. And this arm's a little loose, too, but it's okay. And then just for comparison, I have here the City Commander. You can see G1 Magnus is, you know, definitely a little taller here than the City Commander. You can see where, you know, Fans Project got the inspiration there to do their interpretation of the figure. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, again, I'm just so happy to have him back in my collection. I'm so happy to have him back, period, because, you know, it's been a really long time since I've seen this guy. <laughs> so it was like an old friend coming back, you know, seeing an old friend again. So, um, you know, I, I would definitely recommend him. You know, if you're a G1 fan, you have to have him in your collection, And remember, he was, you know, in the animated movie, you know, he, he did become leader for a short time after Prime died. Until he was shot down by Galvatron. And then um, Hot Rod inherited the Matrix. But um, for a while, he, he was the big bot. He was the big bot. But, um... Yeah, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, it's it's a decent figure. It's a solid figure. You know, like I said, it, it's it's a brick, but you know, it's G1, so y you know, we we forgive it for that. But um, yeah, I would I would definitely recommend him. If if you see one for for a good price, definitely pick him up. You 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 need to have him in your collection. So um. That's pretty much all there is to say. So there is Generation 1 Ultra Magnus, and this is Emgo, rolling out.